Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. Today we will look at different types of volcanoes. Not all volcanoes are the same. They come in different shapes and sizes. They even erupt differently. The type of eruption affects the way the volcano is formed. In an effusive eruption, thick lava flows down the side of the volcano. This type of eruption is likely to create a shield volcano with long, gentle, sloping sides. The lava from these volcanoes can flow long distances, contributing to the volcano's broad shape. In an explosive eruption, rocks, ash and gas are thrown high into the air. A cinder volcano is often cone-shaped with steep sides. This type of volcano has violent eruptions with lava thrown into the air. The lava falls down and cools where it lands, adding to the shape of the volcano. Stratovolcanoes are tall and have steep sides built up from volcanic materials including rocks and hardened lava. These volcanoes can be incredibly dangerous as they release toxic gases into the air when they erupt. Some of the world's most well-known volcanoes are stratovolcanoes, including Mount Kilimanjaro, Mount Vesuvius and Mount St Helens. Now let's take a look inside a volcano. The main body of the volcano is called the core and is usually made up of layers of cooled lava and ash. A magma chamber sits beneath the volcano under the Earth's crust. In an eruption, the lava will travel through a main vent to reach the Earth's surface. If the main vent is blocked, the lava will find a secondary vent to travel through. The lava will come out of a crater at the top of the volcano. And in an eruption cloud, gas, lava and ash are released into the air. For your hands-on activity, use clay to sculpt a model of your own volcano. Add ingredients to make your volcano erupt. For more information about this activity and more activities related to volcanoes, please go to handsoneducation.com volcanoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye.